What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of using a blank for gaming. This time around, we're going to be using a vertical mouse. I've never used one of these before and it's pretty different from your traditional gaming mouse. Still has all the buttons, scroll wheel, DPI, just the whole hand grip is going to be a big adjustment for me. So I want to put it to the test and see if we can use it for PC gaming. I picked it up for really cheap on Banggood and has some pretty good ratings overall so I figured why the hell not let's check it out and see if we can use a vertical mouse for PC gaming. All right, so real quick before we get into gaming, I'm going to do some uh, some mouse accuracy and you know pointer click training as they call it, just so I could get a general sense and a good feel for how the mouse is before we hop into some uh, CS:GO. But the thing I can tell right off the bat right here is I am not used to this being a little bit bulkier. Uh, my muscle memory is very much trained to my G502 mouse, which is obviously a lower profile. So I I, I know how much force I need to move this around. Uh, with this, that's definitely going to be a bit of an adjustment. Uh, kind of difficult, but we'll just get a we'll test it out a little bit. Ah, this isn't this isn't easy. This isn't easy with this thing. Okay, let, let's just go win a Counter Strike. All right, so they threw me in here midway through the match. I love when they do that. Uh, first kill was a bot, then my first death is from a real person. That's how I expect this to go. Jeez. Okay, so like I said with the aimbot thing, or the aimbot, you know what I mean. The, uh, the aim tester, it is just extremely different holding something like this when you're so used to a traditional mouse for all those years. You know, like you, you start playing with a, a regular mouse and you get used to that. This, since it's vertical, you're holding it like this instead of, you know, flat like that. So that is definitely the biggest adjustment right off the bat that I could see, which feels uh, feels way different as I shoot him in the testicle. Oh, so many testy shots. <laughs> We're just warming up. We're just warming up. Spraying like there's no tomorrow. I'm a, woo, woo. He almost shotgun me. What? No. He shot me through the entire building. You all saw that. You all saw that out there. Ooh, another testy shot. I like it. Oh, I, I think out of all my kills so far, they've all been directly in the nuts. I'm gonna stay far away back here. Another nuts. Hashtag another nut. Lots of people with the knife. Ah, no! <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm getting out of here. Ah, oh, sneak one. All right, so just hopping in, we got 11th. Well, we got 11th. Let's see, where do we go? 21 and 23. So just right off the bat here, going negative two, hopping in. All right, let's get a full round here. Let's get invested in one of those. Oh, shit, we're doing late. Let's go. Oh, shit, we're doing late. My mom doesn't know I said shit. This is why I, I hate playing this game. <laughs> People like that. Let's do this. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. Good starts. Good starts. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, this is not my favorite mouse. I can tell you that. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, he knew. He knew. Damn you, Nubsy. Oh, um, all right, so we, we've used some crazy things in this series. This is probably the most annoying. Oh my God. This is gonna be a montage of me just yelling in agony because this is horrible. <laughs> Stop freaking! Stop killing me! Oh my God, why do four-year-olds play this game? You're the reason millennials are retarded. That guy who said that was probably 16, disassociating himself from millennials, okay. Okay. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I don't I don't believe that. What is that guy doing? <laughs> Ooh. How you are you like all night? No! Oh, thank god that chef guy. Look, he's giving me a thumbs up. It's like I saved you. You're related to anyone named Damn it! Damn it! I'm done. I'm done. This, this is too much. This is way too much. This video is sponsored by Corsair and their Corsair 1 Pro 1080 Ti PC. 
with an i7 7700K CPU, up to 32 gigabytes of their Corsair Vengeance RAM, and a water-cooled GTX 1080 Ti graphics card, this compact PC is not only 4K ready, but VR ready. This thing is crazy powerful, it's also very cool, and keeps quiet. And since it is so tiny, you can hook this up in your living room, you won't even notice it's there. If it's going to be on your desk, it's not going to be taking up much space. For more information, check the link in the description down below. That was brutal. We've used a lot of things on this series, and this by far was probably my least favorite to use for gaming. I, I didn't think the adjustment to a vertical mouse would be so difficult, but like I said, your muscle memory, you're so used to a traditional flat mouse that when you, you turn your hand sideways, it was just so much harder to use and uh, I could not get a flow or any sort of rhythm going. So can you use it as I always say? Yes, you can, but I would not recommend using a vertical mouse for PC gaming. Anything else, I'm sure a vertical mouse would be just fine for, but do not use it for PC gaming. Well guys, it's going to wrap it up. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this atrocity of an episode. If you want to check it out, I will put this vertical mouse in the description down below, as well as the playlist to other episodes from this series that are uh, much, much better than this. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.